Hey guys, how's it going? So, real quick, I want to give a big shout out to Ubisoft for flying me out to play Mario and Rabbids early. I got about two plus hours to play this game, and I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about it. I was also able to get an interview with the creative director of this game. Um, I'll get to that a little later, but first, I kind of wanted to talk about Mario and Rabbids. So, of course, this isn't your traditional Mario game. It's not your traditional Rayman slash Rabbids game. Uh, this is completely strategy, so that's kind of the genre of this title. So what you're seeing on the screen right now is just a general match of Mario and Rabbids. Now, you're going to notice my gameplay is a little bit slow. Uh, strategy games generally aren't the fastest paced games, which is okay. Um, now, personally, I have not played a lot of strategy games in my life, so this was very brand new to me. If I look like a new player, then I do apologize about that. So basically, the way that this works is you're going to have a few different playable characters. There's Mario, Luigi, Peach, Yoshi, and there's also rabid versions of those characters. And I'm playing one of the earlier levels in the game. I believe this is World 1-3, if I'm not mistaken. And what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to kind of set up to take out these rabbits. So there's two different types of battles that you'll do. There will be defeat all the enemies and reach a specific point um, on the map. So right now I'm doing the battle, or the battle that I'm doing right now is just basically I got to take out all the enemies. So right now I'm kind of just figuring out the controls. I went ahead and just hit this rabbit. Now it's pretty cool, um, <clears throat> excuse me, about this game is that there's a pretty big variety of, we of uh, different enemies and different types of weapons that you can use. We're eventually going to get to that. You'll see all the different types of weapon options. So right now, the Rabbids are doing kind of like a combo attack. Now, this is something that you can do as well. You don't just do single attacks. Um, I can, like, jump on other people, jump on my teammates uh, to get more height, get more distance to attack these guys. There's a lot of different options. And um, as someone that's not familiar with strategy games, it took me a while to pick up. But anyone that's played something like XCOM, or just, you know, other strategy games in general, I think would have a pretty easy time getting a hold of this. So, as you can see at this point, um, here's all the different types of weapons that you can use. This is just for Mario. So, there's different types of blasters that you can get a hold of. Um, so, as you can see, there's not a lot, a lot unlocked, but that's just because we're at the beginning of the game. I do have footage as well later on into the game, but we'll get into that in a little bit. But as you can see, um, there's a lot of customization and different types of options available. So now we're playing the other game mode. Well, I guess the other type of battle, this is called Reach Area. So basically, we have to try to get to the yellow zone. Um, that's kind of the goal. I'll also keep in mind, um, every character cannot heal up. Um, which is a part of the challenge. So basically, we have to get through each section, each world, not each world, but you know, like, this is World 1-3. I have to get through all of World 1-3, get through all the battles without dying with all my characters. So the damage kind of carries on until you reach a new section of the world. So this is the last section of the world. Basically, all I have to do is I have to get through these enemies. Now, for the Reach enemies, basically, they infinitely spawn. So I can't just keep killing them because, well, they're just going to keep spawning over and over again. So right now, I'm um, thinking about using my jump. Uh, basically, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get a lot of distance with a character. So here we go. We can see that in motion. Um, there we go. We're using good old Rabid Peach, which is pretty cool. I went ahead and blast that Rabid out of the way. So... If you're looking carefully, all the characters have different stats, you know, as you would expect in a game like this. Um, each different character has different types of abilities, have different um, advantages and different disadvantages, and sometimes what's really cool is there'll be a little, uh, it's not like a cutscene, but like basically the camera will kind of revert to a different angle, and I do like the variety, you will see that sometimes, we went ahead and just obliterated that guy. So now we're moving on to um, more deep into the game, and all the characters are kind of unlocked. Shout out to uh, Rabid Luigi. Um, it's pretty funny that, you know, we got, there's the YouTuber Rabbit Luigi, and now he actually exists in this game. I'll never get over how funny that is. But uh, anyway, I'm just kind of going through all the characters. And uh, as you can see, they all have different types of stats, all have different abilities. And we're now into World 3 of the game. I believe it's World 3 of this game. It might be World 4, but I'm pretty sure it's World 3. So at the moment, I'm just kind of exploring, and I'm about to head into uh, another Reach area. So... Well, there we go. Now I'm about to head into it. And uh, as you're going to see, it's much more complicated. Uh, there's a lot of different paths. There's now boos. Uh, basically, what the boos can do in this game is if they catch you, they can kind of teleport you to a random part of the map. Sometimes that can help you, and sometimes uh, it's a huge disadvantage. So you have to watch out for that. And at this point in time, I'm just kind of figuring out what exactly they need to do. Um, again, I'm not that experienced with strategy games, so it was hard to figure it out. Um... But, you know, it was pretty cool being able to try out all the characters and seeing what kind of different advantages they have. So here's another different uh, ang 
camera angle taking out these guys. I forgot the names of them. Um, I just have to say really quickly, uh, graphics, beautiful. I love the graphics in the game. They look fantastic. Also, the music was composed uh, by Grant Kirkhope. If you don't know who that is, this is the guy that composed Banjo-Kazooie and Ukulele music, so you know it's going to be good stuff. So now what you're seeing is co-op mode, and yes, there is co-op. Um, I was playing with this guy, John Tarr. He also creates content on YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and post a link to his channel in the description. He's a very nice guy. Um, I think he had a bit more experience than I did. And basically what we're doing is we're playing through the co-op. Uh, we kind of take turns playing as the characters. And uh, it's very similar to the single player mode, except there's a bunch of different maps, different types of maps that you can play as. I believe there is 18 maps available, if I'm not mistaken. So as you can see, there's the coins. The coins uh, basically allow you to unlock other types of moves that the characters can use. Now these coins kind of build up in single player and in co-op, so they're not exclusive to each different type of mode, which is really nice. Um, so right now we're just kind of figuring out what exactly we need to do. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of what else we can talk about here. I've already covered a lot of the ground. I do think uh, that this is a game that I'm definitely willing to try. At first, I wasn't sure if I was going to enjoy this game. Um, there we go. They're sniping me from right there. That can happen. You know, that's something you have to think about. If they're close by, or if your enemies are close by, they might hit you in the air when you're doing that. Um, this is a game uh, that I'm not too sure if I'm going to be interested in playing a lot of in the future, but we'll... We'll see. I'm definitely willing to give this game uh, more of a shot. It was a lot of fun, for sure, uh, for the, you know, the two hours that I played it. I'm not sure if I'm going to want to play it for longer than that, but, you know, we'll see. I'm definitely going to give this game a shot. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to move on... Excuse me. We're going to go ahead and move on to the questions. So, I was able to interview David Sol uh, Soliani. I apologize if I butchered that. This is the creative director, or better known as the hashtag don't cry Ubisoft man. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to interview him in person because I didn't bring my camera, and I really regret that, but I was able to ask him questions, so we're going to go through those now. Um, so, some of these questions come from Twitter from you guys, and some of these questions are just what I had in general. So, first we have, were you afraid, or excuse me, were you aware of the leaks months before Mario and Rabbids was officially announced? He says, we were preparing a big surprise for E3, working really hard, putting all our passion and commitment into delivering a great experience for the players. Leaks were really discouraging for the team, I can imagine so. But we kept our focus and we have been greatly rewarded afterwards. At E3, the audience really responded tremendously well to the trailer and the demo. The team couldn't be more happy. No, I, I, I can definitely understand, you know, being... It must be really, really frustrating to have a game like that leaked. And honestly, I didn't even expect that. Mario and Rabbids to actually be real. I didn't believe it at first, but you know, we're playing it right now, and honestly, I had a pretty good time for what I played. Uh, next question we have, is this game's story canon with the Mario timeline? David responds, not at all. This is like a side, crazy, and fun parallel universe. We just created a totally new story for Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. That being said, this game is full of references for both Rabbids and Mario players. Now, as I was playing through, I did actually see a reference to Toadette. I don't show this gameplay, um, but I did see there was some sort of like Toadette trophy or something like, I don't think it was a trophy exactly, but you could see a, a model of Toadette. I randomly found it while I was just kind of exploring the game, so that was really cool. Uh, moving on, is there any Amiibo support? Uh, he says, we are, we are supporting Amiibo, all the different Amiibo versions of Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Yoshi. So, that's pretty cool. There is Amiibo support. Uh, next we have, are there any references to Rayman, or is this just about the Rabbids and Mario? David responds, Rabbids and Rayman are now two different universes. This game is all about Mario and friends and the Rabbids. So, no Rayman is going to be found in this game. Uh, next we have, what kind of options are there for difficulty modes? He says, the story mode offers a balanced experience with just one difficulty mode, and it gives to the player all the tools they need to learn the basics and, through the progression of the game, learn how to pull off great chain and combos, with all the possible synergy existing between the different heroes. With the co-op challenges, we decided to really give the player a different kind of experience by allowing them to face different levels of difficulty from easy to hard. The most experienced players will also find even harder challenges, but those will require a different amount of commitment and skills. So, there you go. Uh, next question, how long will it take to complete the game? 
Uh, he said, it really depends on the player's skills. I would say between 20 and 22 hours just for the story mode. Then there's challenges, unlocked upon the completion of each world, and co-op challenges. So you could easily go up to 30 hours or more. So this is a pretty beefy game uh, for what they're offering. And this is a question that I asked for you guys. Is there any resemblance of Pink Gold Peach in this game? He says, no, but definitely there's some surprises about the two peaches. So sorry guys, there's no pink gold peach, there's no pink gold rabbits, it's it's not gonna happen. Uh, I'm sure someone out there is gonna be disappointed. Uh, thank God, thank you Ubisoft, uh, for the opportunity to allow me to play this game, and thank you for not including pink gold peach. You don't understand how much that means to me, so thank you guys. Um, I just wanted to say, please feel free to drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment if you have any other questions about Mario and rabbits that I didn't answer. Um, there might be more things that I just didn't ask, but I could still answer. Just let me know in the comments. Um, and I think that is basically it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great day, and I hope you enjoyed this video.